Hey everyone, today we will learn how we can get data from Superbase in our Next.js app. So first we need to create a server action in the post.js file. Get all posts. Since this function will not be used inside a form or inside a use action state hook, it doesn't need any parameters. So first uh, create the client. And we need to call the select method from the superbase client. So superbase from, and you need to pass the table name. And after that, you need to call the select method. And inside the select statement, you need to pass a string and the string need to contain the column names that you want to retrieve. So let's say I want to retrieve the ID and title and content. The column names needs to be comma separated and let's get the data and just return error to error dot message and posts and export get all posts. And now let's call the function inside the paste.js file. Get all posts. Await. And let's also console log. And on the terminal, you can see we have the data with just id title and content but if you want to get all the columns then you just need to pass an asterisk so just put an asterisk inside the string and now we have data with all the columns you can also rename the column name when you are fetching the data. For example, you want to rename the is public column to is underscore public to a snake case. You can do that very easily. So after the asterisk, put a comma and then put the new name. The custom name is public and then colon and then the actual column name. And on the terminal, we had this is underscore public key. And we also have this is public key. This actually renames the column, but also keeps the original one. So I don't need that. So I'm going to comment this out. Now let's just uh, display the data in our web page. I will create a new component post dot jsx and i'm just gonna paste the code it's pretty simple we have a post component which is just displaying the title uh the created date the content and a button view post if it's a public post or edit post if it's a private post and then we just have the posts component which is just looping over the post array and rendering the individual post so let's add that component and i will pass the posts array and this is what we have let's see how we can get a single post by using id so if i click on this view post button it takes me to the slash post slash the post id page and let's create another function inside the post.js const get single post and it will take an id let's create the client now again we need to call the select function superbase dot from post dot select and I want to select everything and then we need to call the eq function and it takes two parameter 
first one is the column name which is going to be id and second one is the value if the value of the column is equals to the value that you have passed in the second parameter then it will return you that row and by default it will give you an array i mean all the rows that it will match but i just want a single post so i will call the single method and let's get the data and return error message and post and let's export and let's create another file inside app post slash then post id wrapped by brackets slash page.js Let's create a component and by the way this bracket post id is going to be the dynamic parameter in our paths so in here you can see slash post and after whatever you are seeing is going to be dynamic which is the post id and you can get the post id in server component from the props params and it is basically a promise so we need to await that and it will return you our object calls post id and we can use that post id to face the post so const post get single post and pass the post id let's console log and on the terminal you see this object so let's display that on our page so it's simple we are displaying the post title and edit link uh, which will just redirect you to the update page and then the created date and the post content and this is what it looks like so this is how you can uh, fetch data from Superbase. In the next video, we will learn how we can update our data. So that's it for today. Stay safe. Goodbye.